Okay, so this video is going to show you, if you're given a graph with variables in it, how you're going to work out what the rule is. And when I say the rule, this is the one that I want. I want y equals mx plus c. So you know, well you should know by now, please, that the m over here is the gradient, I'll just put a little g there, and the c is the y-intercept. Okay, so it's zero and whatever it is. So the first thing you do is you look at your y, um, your bottom, your, your y numbers. Where's my pointer here? Okay, is it my pointer? Yes, your y numbers. And you have a look and you see what is going on here. What is the, the relationship between all these numbers? So have a look at your whole numbers. Those are probably easier ones to go through. Well, it's actually increasing by 2 each time. Make sure what you think it is. Yes, it's increasing by 2. So that is going to tell you what your gradient is. So straight away, we can write y equals, what did we say my gradient is? It's increasing by 2. Now, remember, if it was decreasing, it would be a negative, okay? But it's increasing, so we're just going to put 2x, right? And then plus your y-intercept. Now, where do we look for our y-intercept? Well, we look where the zero is because we know that that's going to be sitting on the line, so the intercept is going to be negative 1. So then we put on plus negative 1, and that will give us our mx plus c. So just to recap, have a look and see what your relationship is here to get your gradient, and then have a look at your zero, because you know that on, on the line when it's sitting like that, it will sit on this line, but where on the line will be negative 1 will be what your x is. So give it a go please.